typically traffickers go into the village and promise an opportunity of work. Um, she arrives in, the, in a border town, and, but conveniently someone shows up and says, well, hey, I can take care of you. Come stay with us for a couple days. Um, they tell her, you owe us money for the days you've stayed here. This is the kind of work you have to do. Fortunately for this one particular girl, when we went un undercover in this brothel, it was her first night. As, as undercovers went in there and were able to rescue her, we definitely risked our lives. And to the point where we were in fear that the, the police would probably kill us um, somewhere in this remote part of this village. And the fact that we carried her in our arms across the border and would not let her out of our sight. We are just getting to find the right partners. We've done small operations in these countries. It's important to go, to go slowly so that we make sure that we have the right partners. These are other uh, nonprofits, other NGOs, to make sure we've connected. We were told today by some of the law enforcement partners that we have that without the impetus of OUR, without Tim and his team, really pushing for this to happen, making the contacts, setting up the state. There, there isn't a lot of political will or ambition or resources from um, the local law enforcement and it wouldn't have happened. Everybody involved should feel proud of the work they're doing. <laughs> Our ultimate goal is, is to eradicate trafficking. The way we're going to do this is by being present physically, having offices in every country, every city on earth. It's going to take some time, but we are on that path.